Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from theautomationblog.com and a question I often get from my students is, hey, where do I buy that Rockwell software or that Allen Bradley PLC and how much does it cost? And today, I'm going to show you how you can download a free utility from Rockwell Automation that will help you find part numbers and give you list prices, not your price, but kind of an inflated list price that they use to uh, keep the competition guessing. So with that said, we're going to start off by going to ab.com and that's going to redirect us over to ab.rockwellautomation.com. And then here, we're going to go to the search box and we're going to search on product selection toolbox and hit enter. And you'll see one of the results is product selection toolbox. And when we select that, we go to the product selection toolbox homepage where we can see everything that's included with the toolbox and we can see that you can actually order it on DVD. Just call your local distributor and they'll uh, send you that DVD. But today I'm going to show you how to download it. So we're going to go to the bottom, we're going to click on download and uh, in a moment it's going to download. Now I've already downloaded this. This will typically take a few minutes to download but I've already downloaded it and actually copied it to my desktop. So let's go ahead and install it. Now I'm going to speed up the install here, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, just double click on it and then say yes to allow the product to install. And you have your normal kind of Q&A stuff here. First we have some prerequisites we have to install. And then we go through the product selection toolbox installation, accepting the agreement, choosing our country, choosing our language, you know, putting a company name in if you're interested. And uh, you just go through this and here, this is where I deselect things I'm not going to use, like uh, Rail Builder, Safety Automation Builder, TRCS. We do want to keep Proposal Works. Don't need MCS Star and don't need Crossworks. You you can choose to keep some of these or not. It's your choice. But the one we really want to include is Proposal Works. So I'll make sure that stays checked. And then I'll go ahead and uh, click Next and Install. And here I'll speed it up. I think this takes uh, several minutes. We'll just speed it up here to get it done. And when it is done, Another one will launch saying, hey, do you want to update the pricing? And you do. You definitely want to update the pricing. So that'll bring up the current updater. And here, I'm just going to tell it to check for updates for all the packages I just installed. Because that zip file that we downloaded and used to install, that doesn't have all the updates. You know, that's not made every day. So pricing can change every day. So we'll run through this. I'll speed it up again. And uh, when it's done finding updates, I'll go ahead and say get selected updates. And then uh, we'll speed this up. It'll go ahead and install the latest and greatest, including the latest pot numbers and pricing. So if anything news come out, you'll have that. If any prices have changed, you'll have that. And now that this is all done, we're ready to go ahead and start up proposal works. Let's get rid of this release note here. And we'll close down the current updater. And uh, let's go ahead and stop proposal works. Okay, it's asking again if do I want to check for updates? No, I just did. So we'll say no to that. And when Proposal Works opens, you know, you can search by a catalog number if you know it. But I'm going to search on a keyword. And the keyword I'm going to search on is Compact Logics. And here you can see I have the 1768 Compact Logic, 69 Compact Logics, as well as the newer 5069 Compact Logics. So let me double click on that. And that's going to bring up a wizard. Whoops, I have to allow it to access the internet. And then. Let me go ahead and look through here. I'm looking for, let's see, a controller. And I also want to get, let's just choose a part number here. We'll choose the smallest one right there. And accept. And now we can see back in Proposal Works, we have our part number. And look, it added some accessories. So we have the main unit here that's a $1,200 list price. And then we can see it added some screw and spring terminal box. I really don't want both of those. You only need one set, not two. So I'm going to go ahead and double click in here and change it back in the wizard. So if you ever found that you chose the wrong item, you can just double click on it and bring that wizard right back up. And so I'll do that here. I'll just go through and make some different changes, uh, change the accessories down. Um, you need one of them, so you don't want to have both of them. So I'll change one to zero. Now at this point, I'm going to delete that from our bill of materials and I'm going to go and search on Micrologics. And here you can see this. No Micrologics 1000, that product's obsolete now. So I'll choose an 1100. And here, I like to use the 1763 L16 BWA because it uses 120 volts. You can plug it right into your outlet at home and accept that. And here you can see, not only did I get the controller, I also got this $41 Ethernet cable. 
this is something I'm going to be using at home for uh, educational purposes, so I do not need that $40 Ethernet cable. But for now, I'll leave it in there. I'm going to go search on the 1400 to see what that would cost. So we'll pull that up here. I get the L32 BWA. We can add it to our bill of materials, and now you can see that's $900. Well, you get a lot of extra stuff with the 1400 It might be a better deal than the, than the, than the 1100 but in any case, let's go ahead and delete the 1400 from the bill of materials, and we'll delete the 1100 from the bill of materials. And let's look for Rockwell software. Specifically, I'm looking for RS Logic. So let's go ahead and type that in. We'll double click on Rockwell software. And here you can see all the Studio 5000s. It's a whole bunch of those. And after we get through those, we'll see the RS Logic 500. And after we get through those, we'll see the RS Logic 5. And finally, when we get all the way to the bottom, we'll see the RS Logix Micro. And there's two different versions of the starter edition, the low cost edition that does all MicroLogix. There's uh, the version that is a digital only, and then there's the version that is a CD-ROM. So I'm gonna accept both of those. And now we can see that the digital version is $145 and the CD-ROM version is $145. And this is the only product you'll probably find out there from Rockwell that the CD version and the digital version are the same price. Usually they charge a little bit more for the CD version. And with that, that's how easy it is to get a free app, ProposalWorks, from Rockwell, install it, and use it to help you find catalog numbers and prices. And with that, I hope you found this helpful. If you did and you'd like to help me make more videos, check out my Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash automation. For a $1 donation every month, you can help me make more free videos every day, and you'll get $3 worth of free downloads from my website, The Automation Exchange. In addition to that, if you know anybody out there who would like to learn about the MicroLogix, how to program it, have them check out theautomationschool.com. I got two courses there. I have an intro course, uh, first edition of PLC Core Basics, which is only starts at $20. Now, if you're working for a company and you're looking for something a little bit more substantial, to get you into PLCs, check out my PLC Basics 2nd Edition. Not only does that course have over five hours worth of lessons in it today, I'm adding more every month this year. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, peace.